just a really, really quick message on where to start when you're looking to implement change, okay? So whether it is change in your house, maybe you want to redecorate, maybe it's change in your body, maybe you want to start a new exercise routine or a new way of eating, maybe it's change in your work, maybe it's even change in where you live, maybe you're looking to relocate, um, whatever the case may be. The key with any kind of change, because it can seem overwhelming, especially if you're a big picture person and you're looking at everything that needs to happen in order to make this change come to fulfillment, okay? So you start with what's most important to you, okay? So if you're looking to redo a room, what is the focal point? Like if you're just kind of browsing at a store and you're like, oh, or maybe it's you fall in love with a certain color and you're like, I can make that work in a room. Then you work around it, but you start someplace, okay? Um, whether it's an exercise routine where I'm going to just start with something that I know I'm familiar with and maybe it's three days a week, but it's not going to be based on what they're saying because maybe that's not where I'm at, right? If it's a location, all right, if you're just looking for a location, well, what's aligned with your values? Um, because as you know, every state has its own laws and rules and things like that. If you are someone who wants to be a business owner, what state is more in alignment with laws and taxes or whatever, you know, you start where it actually pertains to you, where it makes sense for you, and then you go around that, okay? So maybe you find a state that's really good for that, but then you look and you're like, well, it may be good with regards to taxes, but not so good when it comes to some other values you may have. I don't know, but that's where you start and then you wean out as you go. So if you really don't care about weather, or you don't care about certain things, then you find things that you do care about, okay? Same thing goes with um, finding a new job. It's, it, it's kind of like pros and cons in a sense, right? So sometimes the pros may outweigh the cons, the cons may outweigh the pros. Sometimes it just comes down to that one thing, that one thing. So if you know you're looking for a job and you don't really care what kind of job it is as long as you're making money, you can have all kinds of pros and cons, but the one that's going to pay you the most is the one that you're probably going to jump on, right? It's similar to that with regards to any change that you're looking to implement in your life. But to make it more focused, start with the one thing that matters most to you. And then you build around that. You find the perfect rug that you really love. Then you build around that rug when you're trying to redesign a room. If you find a workout that you really enjoy and are engaged in, don't get caught up in the numbers. Don't get caught up in the routine. Start where you're at. I remember doing a 5K trainer one time. And anyone who's ever done the, the one online, like the app, it's literally like first day you run this, this much time, then you walk, then this much time. I did that first training for like a good solid week. Every day I would repeat that same first one because that's where I was at at the time. I needed to build up. So meet yourself where you are, and that comes with mindfulness. But with regards to making plans and changes, start with what is most important to you. And if you don't know what that is, sit with it. Sit with it and really see how it sits with you. Okay? All right, that's my two cents. I hope you have a great day. Talk soon.